It's a window safety week, and we're starting from the bottom up. Basement windows are usually small, making them very difficult to get out during a fire. And Doug Higgins is live at a home in Green Bay this morning with more. Good morning, Doug. Uh, good morning, Pete and Rachel. Yeah, we're talking window safety, and uh, this was kind of interesting when I was reading about it because, you know, even in my house, I needed to pay more attention to it, and uh, I decided I needed to go to the experts. So I've got Art Lane here with me from Window World. Good morning, Art. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, we're going to talk about basement windows to start. Now, uh, this is for code that you actually have a, a, a room in the basement, Right. and you said you need what's called an egress window. What's an egress window? An egress window is a window that's large enough for the firemen to get in if there is a fire but it's also large enough for an occupant to get out in the case of a fire. So, for example, this window right here would not be a code window for egress because it's two windows put together, but only one side opens at a time, obviously, and a fireman with full gear cannot get through this. Wow. So what we want to do, we, we built this house, we want to make sure at least one window in the room is a full right, egress let's show window. Us this, this full egress so, window then. So it doesn't have a divider in the middle, the whole thing. Can correct. Happen. And at that point, you also want to make sure that all the windows are nice and easy to operate so that way who's ever in here, whether it be a child or an adult, can actually open them up pretty easy and crank them open where you have a full five square feet of open area to get out of here. Now, if there's a little child in this room, you also want to make sure that you have something that they can get onto so they can climb on this little stool or maybe even a toy box to get up out into here. Because a little five-year-old is not going to be able to jump up. Even though this is code height, they can't climb up in there without any kind of a problem. So put something here where they can actually get out into this opening and get out of the house. Don't worry so much about the screen because they can actually push the screen out or if they need to, they come out very easy. And in that respect, don't worry about anything that's going to get scratched or anything because if the house is on fire, that doesn't matter. That's you right. You want to be able to get about, a clear opening. And we're talking about basement windows when you're talking about trying to put something Correct. so you can step up into the This room. is a big issue with basement windows. You see rooms in basement all the time where they just they don't put in a large enough opening and if there's an issue, they've got to get out because many times the basement fills up with smoke, they can't find the stairs, the windows are the next option. And we were just talking about, you know, general maintenance for windows that you, know, you said, you know, after a couple years in a place that you might not open a window a lot, they get real stiff to open and hard to open. You should just clean them up so that you can easily yeah, get out. Yeah, once a year doesn't take much and we found that even with this room this is our spare room yeah. and I went to play with the windows yesterday and I'm like my gosh they're not opening as nice as they should because yeah. with dust blows around they get into little seams and cracks and nooks and crannies clean them up it take, took me like five minutes to clean all this up lube it up and it works great now so make awesome. sure that on a regular basis they're maintained all right uh, next hour uh, Pete and Rachel we're gonna be going upstairs talking about uh, you know what to do with windows uh, that you have you know higher elevations a little bit in the way of fire safety and to keep the kids safe too from falling out the windows. Here we're obviously in a basement level, but mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be talking more about that coming up. Good advice. Okay. Thanks, Doug. Yeah.